Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your desktop refresh option is not working in your Windows machine. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step is to go ahead and restart your Windows Explorer. To do this, you will have to open the Task Manager. So, you can press Ctrl Shift Escape on your keyboard, which is a shortcut. Otherwise, you can do a right click on the Start button. And then on the list, you will have to go ahead and choose the option which says, task manager this will open the task manager on your computer once you're on the task manager navigate to the detail list and then under the detail list look for explorer.exe you can do a right click on explorer.exe and then click on restart so this should restart your explorer processes wait for a minute or two to, to restore your file explorer on your computer once this is done you may close this window and then try to check if your refresh option is working on your computer if it is working well and good you don't have to try the next step now the second method is to go ahead and restore the folder option to the default settings on your computer to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run once you have the run window you will have to go ahead and type the command which says control dot exe space folder i will also mention this command in the video description you can copy and paste it from here you can click on ok and that should bring the file explorer option on your computer screen now under this you will have to choose the option which says restore defaults click on apply and then click on ok and that should restore your file explorer option and uh, then you should be able to refresh if you are able to refresh well and good you don't have to try the next step now the third method to fix the problem is to run the SFC and DISM scan on your computer. Now sometimes the problem seems to be connected with your corrupted Windows system file. In this case running the SFC utility can help you to detect the issue and then repair the broken files or replace them with the fresh. Following this you should also run the DISM and the scan help tool on the computer. Now to follow this step you will have to open the command prompt on your computer. In the search window you may go ahead and type C md you would see the best match for the command prompt you can do a right click on the command prompt and click as click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once you have the command prompt open you will have to go ahead and type the command sfc face forward slash can now and hit enter so this will begin the sfc scan on your computer so this process will take some time you will have to wait until um, the process is is completed and it is at 100%. Once the SFC scan is complete, you would see the message which says verification 100% complete. And in case if there is any corruption, Windows Resource Protection will try to repair the corruption by itself and you should get this message. In my case, there was certain corruption on my uh, Windows files and that has been repaired successfully. Once this is done, once this is done, the next command what you will have to go ahead and run is a DISM command. command to check health so all you have to do is you'll have to copy the command from my video description and paste it here by doing a right click on the command prompt and that should paste the command automatically you would get a message saying that the no component store corruption detected if there is any corruption it will try to fix the corruption by itself once this is complete the next command what you will have to go ahead and run is to scan the health so you can copy the command from the video description and do a right click on the command prompt and that should paste the command and hit enter so with this it will run the command for the scan health once this is done you may go ahead and restart your computer and then try to check if your refresh option is working fine on your computer if it is working well and good you don't have to try the next step fourth step to fix the problem is to go ahead and modify the registry entry now to do this you will have to open registry on your computer by doing a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type reg edit and then click on ok in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you are on the registry editor you will have to go ahead and expand computer so in case if your registry is being in an expanded state, you can click on this arrow and that should collapse the registry entry. So once you're on this registry key, you will have to expand HKey local machine. Under HKey local machine, you will have to go ahead and expand system. Under system, you will have to locate for current 
control set and expand current control set and then expand control once you're on the control you will have to do a right click on the control key and then choose the option which says new key that will go ahead and create a new folder you will have to name this folder as update once this is done on the empty space to your right you will have to go ahead and create a new d word value so you can do a right click and then click on new and then click on d word 32 bit name the 32 bit value as update mode and hit enter you can do a right click and then click on modify and make sure the value data has been set to zero once this is done you may close the registry editor restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved now this should definitely fix a problem so in spite of this if you're still facing a problem the next method is to go ahead and disconnect your mapped network drive now, there are chances that you might have a mapped network drive or you may not have a mapped network drive in case if you have a mapped network drive you might want to go ahead and disconnect it to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on file explorer from this list from the navigation pane you may go ahead and click on this pc that should that should give you the list of drives which are connected to your computer so you will have to go ahead and choose Choose the drive or network drive in case if you have a network drive it would show up under this under the network option so you all you have to do is you will have to do a right click on the network drive and under the properties option do a right click and then click on show more options and then you will see an option to disconnect click on disconnect and disconnect all the network drives which are listed in case if you have one close this and then try to check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't have to try the next step what you could try here is to turn off the OneDrive backup settings temporarily. To do this, you will have to do it on the OneDrive at the bottom right corner of your notification settings and then click on settings on the gear icon and then click on settings. That should take you to the sync and backup. Choose sync and backup and then choose the option which says manage backup. Under this section, make sure all the options has been turned off. So in case if there is any uh, drive which has been enabled for the backup, go and disable those click on close close the onedrive settings and check if your issue has been resolved now in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't have to try the next step now the last method what you could try to get this issue resolved is to update your computer so in order to update your computer you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page on your left hand side you will see an option for windows update click on windows update and then click on check for the updates so see if there are any updates to be installed on the computer in case if there are any updates to be installed on your computer go ahead and install those updates and make sure your windows is up to date once your windows updates are successfully installed restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved this should definitely fix a problem in spite of all this if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day